Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are going to be discussing some important Valentine's Day Overlook Bay Festival tea. And most of this you probably already know. Today they recently posted something this morning that I really wanna show you guys because it's so big and I'm so excited to be showing you guys and spilling this tea to you guys because it is truly awesome. Um, before we start the video, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And also guys, I'm going to be live streaming on the day of the update which is february 12th um that is when overlook bay is updating for their valentine's day festival so make sure to mark your calendars because i will be live streaming and i hope to upload a few more videos that day too because so many updates are coming out and i'm super excited because i love valentine's day themed stuff and they're bringing a lot of stuff to this update <music> Um, today we're here with a marshmallow. She wants to go to the park, so maybe we will go to the park. And today I am in a public server because my private server doesn't seem to want to load and create a new server for me. So today we are just here. Okay, so the first bit of tea that I want to share with you guys is the new tea that we've seen this morning. So Wonderworks Studios actually just tweeted that they are going to be adding a new house. Um, this is actually in their update as well. They mentioned that they were going to add a new Valentine's Day themed house. And the house that you see on the screen right here is a beautiful castle. Oh my gosh, guys, look at those doors, that heart door. And just look at the detailing on the roof and like all of like, uh, I don't even know how to say it, like all the framing and stuff, as you can see in the beginning. It is so awesome and pretty and look at all those floating hearts and stuff that window is so beautiful i just love the white detailing and the framing that you see it's literally a princess castle and i'm really excited to see that in the game when i buy it i'm most likely going to be keeping it pink because it is super pretty and pink is totally my color as you guys can tell <laughs> so that is a new tea that was posted this morning and i'm so excited i can't wait to move into that okay so the next parts of tea that i have to show you guys is actually from Megan plays live stream. I will leave the link to her live stream down below in the description box just in case you guys have not seen it already. I'm sure you guys already have, but as you can see on the screen right here, this is going to be the new Valentine's Day unicorn. And I think they ended up getting a different modeler, modeler, <laughs> a different modeler, like a 3D model artist. Like they got a different person to model the unicorn because as we can see, it is, it doesn't look like the typical um unicorn that we see in overlook bay um you guys probably already know um the unicorn has a lot of reskins and stuff but this unicorn looks completely different like the legs are different the head shape is different and this unicorn actually is pink and it has wings as you can see it is so pretty oh my gosh and look at that unicorn horn it looks like a ice cream cone doesn't it <laughs> Oh my gosh, it's so cute and look at its eyes. Its eyes are like all glossy and it has like a cute little smile and it has like hearts on the wings. That is so pretty. I love it so much. Okay, so that is the unicorn pet that is going to be coming in the update. So the next pet that I have right here is a lollipop pet. You guys have already seen this in some of Munda Bree's sketches and stuff. But as you can see, this right here is the pink and purple white. I, I don't even know. It's like pink mixed with purple. It's like a gradient and it has like a pink and a white swirl and that is going to be the one of the pets in the um, new update is this lollipop pet oh my gosh guys just think about having like a real life lollipop pet and how cool that would be oh my gosh so that is the first pet and then the next pet is the same pet but it is in the rainbow version form which I really like um, it is that uh, rainbow lollipop that you guys usually see at like um, festivals fairs or like um, theme parks parks and stuff like that like fun places like that you usually see lollipops like the, like in the gigantic version of those so this pet is so cute as well I can't wait to add these pets to my collection and just collect them all so those are the pets that were in Megan's live stream and um, the next pets that I'm going to show you guys are the pets that Wonderworks Studios also posted on the Twitter page so this is the chocolate pet 
The first one right here is looks like a milk chocolate pet and it has like the hot pink wrapper. Oh my gosh, like I said it in my previous videos, the chocolate literally looks like the brain of the pet, like his brain is coming out of his body or something. But that is what the pet looks like. I'm actually really happy they were able to get these modeled the way um, it was in th those sketches. The next pet right here is a strawberry chocolate pet and it's so cute. This one really looks like it's its brain is coming up because um, the brain part, or <laughs> not the brain part, but the chocolate part is pink. So definitely looks like its brain is coming out of its head. So that is one of the new pets as well. So moving on to the new mythic pet. Okay, so guys, I made my video where I was like discussing what I think is going to be the mythic pet and literally like 30 minutes after that video went up, Wonderworks posted what the new mythic pet is going to be. I was like, oh my gosh, why couldn't have I waited? Um, but anyways, guys, this photo that you see on the screen is the mythic pet. Um, this is the default version. So when you buy it, this is what it's going to look like. And if we go to the next picture, if we make it into a shiny pet, it's going to have pink wings. And then if we make it a rainbow shiny, it's going to turn into like this purpley pink and blue color. And these are absolutely my favorite colors. If you guys couldn't tell by my apartment, like these three colors are my favorite colors, pink, purple, and blue. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. I can't wait to make a, another mythic pet the mythic pet that i'm holding right here on the screen is marshmallow she is my very first mythic pet she was actually the first mythic pet added into the game the rainbow shiny mythic dragons that were added in the um i was, I was gonna say firework festival but the new year's eve festival and i'm really excited to be adding onto my collection of mythic pets i'm definitely going to be buying more than four so that i can have more than one ladybug because i really do want to have the rainbow shiny version i also just want to have the regular shiny version and I also want to have the default version in my collection. I couldn't do that for the dragons because I uh, unfortunately I'm not that rich with when it comes to Robux. So <laughs> luckily guys everything that is going to be in this update is going to be all gems and right here is a tweet that Wonderworks Studios posted. I'm sure I've already shown you guys this but I'll show you guys this again. Valentine's Day Festival Tea. Overlook Bay's Valentine's Festival will bring so many awesome things to the game. Here is a list of the few. Um, one new mythic pet, five new pets for gems, two new vehicles, five new personal vehicles, three new collectibles, one new house, which we already seen in the beginning, and 25 new furniture. And oh my gosh, guys, I am so excited. Oh my gosh, I don't know what is going to be the rest of the pets. We've seen some of them already. The next pet I'm gonna show you guys on the screen is my friend Cuppy97's Cupid Teddy. And this was actually confirmed to be a wishing well pet. Um, as you guys can see, it is so cute. Look at its little swirls on its ears and its little heart eyes. Oh my gosh, I'm really excited that this pet was able to get into the game. All right, guys, so this tweet right here says, the snow is melting. Cupid is heading towards Overlook Bay. For a fee, Cupid will dive deep into his fountain of wonders and retrieve something special for you. But what gift will he bring you? Like this tweet if you want Cupid to spill the tea. Okay, so I think this is going to be the Cupid's teddy. I'm not sure if this is going to be the wishing well or another pond that was added into like the park section. I'm going to show you guys some screenshots right here that um, was posted. So as you guys can see, this is like a little pond area with like roses and stuff. There's like pink lights everywhere and there's like a little teddy bear in the back. Oh my gosh, that's like literally Cuppy's Cupid teddy right there. Oh my gosh, what if this is where we can get the wishing well pet or something? Like what if we make a wish here instead of at the regular wishing well that we've been making wishes at for months? Oh my gosh, guys, look at that plant in the back. Like this interesting plant right here. It's green and it has like hearts going up and stuff. Oh my gosh, look at all this detailing, the pink trees. One of these trees actually looks like cotton candy. Um, you guys don't see my mouse on the screen, but um, the one over to the right, the second to the right looks like cotton candy, doesn't it? And look at all the little flowers that are like facing down in like the pond and like everything. This is just beautiful. That is the first screenshot that I have there. And the next screenshot is another screenshot, but from the side. <laughs> I love the flower detailing and the plants and everything. This literally just screams spring to you which i'm so excited that spring is coming so talking about the spring map the next photo that i'm going to show you guys i'm pretty sure you guys have already seen this already but this is what the new map is going to look like as you guys can see um all the trees are like 
pinkish like they're different shades of pink which is so perfect for spring because spring is like literally all about blooming flowers and stuff um as weird as it sounds guys i pay attention so much to detail in this game and in the beginning when the game first launched their grass had like a specific pattern on it it was a bright green but it had stripes right now in the winter update with the snow the grass is white because it has snow on it and it has like squiggly lines but if we look closely into this picture right here we can see that there's a different pattern all the grass and the grass is more of like a jade green kind of shade instead of a bright green um, I know I'm really weird when it comes to detailing and stuff like this, but I noticed that the grass patterns changed without the seasons. I'm not sure if anybody else has noticed that, but I've truly noticed that because I like to pay attention to every single detail when it comes to Overlook Bay because I'm just an Overlook Bay obsessed person, okay? <laughs> Okay, enough about my rant of being um, Overlook Bay obsessed, but as you guys can see, um, that is the new Valentine's Day spring map. I'm sure they're going to keep this map throughout like March and stuff and then possibly April. Um, we'll get to see what is coming in April later on. Okay, so I don't think I showed you guys a suite yet, but this one just says, hey, guess what? Nothing costs Robux in our Valentine's Day festival update. That's right, 43 new items and none of them cost Robux. Oh my gosh, that is amazing. All right, guys, I'm really excited because all these new items are going to cost gems. And as you guys can see, I've been kind of saving up gems. Um, I had like 63 in my last vid building video, I think. And then I just tried to save. Um, the reason why I haven't done any building videos lately is because I've been strictly trying to save my gems for this update. So as soon as this update releases and the house and the furniture get released, I will be doing a building video as well. I know you guys really 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 love my building videos so I want to make sure that I do one with the new Valentine's Day furniture and the new house and then I possibly will be doing some giveaways depending on how much the new mythic pet is going to be I am so excited guys oh my gosh all right so that is going to be everything we know currently about the Valentine's Day festival probably the next time that I update you guys on the next festival tier or something will probably be the update day itself so make sure you guys have your notifications on so that way whenever I go live you get notified because I will be inviting you guys into my server and everyone will be allowed to join me so make sure you mark your calendars for that live stream day oh my gosh guys I am so excited this is gonna be so epic and I hope to have more videos in the same day after the live stream so I might need to cut it short but anyways guys that is going to be the end of this video make sure you hit that subscribe button because I love to have you part of our donut squad we are growing and we're going to be so close to 8,000 subscribers or donuts pretty soon so i'd love if you would join our family by hitting that subscribe button right down there it is red turn that button silver anyways guys i will see you next time bye